Hey, how y'all doing? Oh my goodness, you guys, we got so much to talk about. Listen, I just saw Dennis's Instagram page and I'm like, is Dennis trying to throw some shade? I don't know. I'm not going to say he is, but y'all let me know what y'all think. I'm going to play my intro. We're going to be right back to talk about it. Welcome to the Juice Radio Talk Show. 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 Reality TV, Church Free News. Let's talk heavy love and marriage lifestyle. Come and talk with us. Come and share with us. Come and laugh with us. Come on and pray with us. COVID special guests, you should be following your lead. Bless, subscribe on YouTube, listen on podcasts. We live on IG and Facebook. This episode is sponsored by Truth and Triumph Ministries. Hey, y'all. Hey. Hey, hey y'all. How y'all doing? Listen, I have a few minutes uh, today. And uh, normally I am doing some of my real estate stuff, working my investors. But I had some free time today and I decided, you know what? Let me just see what's going on on the on the social media sites out here. And y'all, I came across Dennis McKinley. Y'all know Dennis McKinley, Portia's ex-husband, PJ's daddy. Y'all, I came across his Instagram page and I got a little curious and I said, Dennis, Dennis, what are you trying to say here? What are you trying to say? So Dennis recently posted, actually it says one day ago, on his Instagram page, and he has a picture of his beautiful daughter, PJ, up there with stacks of cash. Yes, stacks of cash. Oh, Dennis. I don't know, y'all, but y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Look at this. Oh, <laughs> little PJ with her cute self. Got stacks of cash. Dennis posted this on his, on his Instagram, y'all. Dennis, what you trying to say? Dennis. So Dennis posted this on his Instagram page and he put here um, in his caption, he put, uh, she knows her daddy get to it. Now, I know a lot of y'all know Dennis is a businessman. He's got many businesses, many, several businesses. But y'all, I'm kind of thinking this is a little shade side eye to Portia. That's what I'm thinking. Why are you going to pay? You're going to post the baby. You're going to post the baby on your Instagram page with all these stacks of cash and then say she knows her daddy get it. When we all along know that, you know, you a businessman, you doing your thing. We've been rooting for you, cheering for you. But why you got to post a baby up there, Dennis? Why you got to post a baby with all the money knowing that she's going through this situation of divorce and all this stuff that's coming out against Simon? Dennis, mm, y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think. This is a bit much. And let, look, I see 5,000 right there. I don't know what the other one's saying. Does it say five or 10,000? Ooh, this looks like shade to me. This looks like shade. I'm going to say allegedly, because we all know what well, from what we've seen, uh, Dennis and, and, and Portia had a, a good relationship. Yeah, they separated, but they have great uh, times when they celebrate and, and, and spend time with their beautiful daughter. But this to me, when I saw this, I was just like curious. But y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think about this. And uh, we're going to just go on from there because uh, this is a little curious. Now, as y'all know, Dennis has several businesses um, and he's been out here promoting. He's been out here promoting his brand. I'm going to bring up his Instagram uh, page here so y'all can see this. Dennis has a lot that he's doing. But listen, there was another little piece of shade that I saw on Dennis's Instagram that I was like, oh, Dennis. Dennis, what are you really doing? So here is Dennis's Instagram page here, y'all. Here's his Instagram page. Yeah, yeah, he getting the money. He getting the money. Listen, he getting the money. Here go PJ right there in the video I just showed. I mean, the photo I just showed y'all. Here he is. He's promoting this. Um, this um, looks like I don't know if that's a uh, wine or brandy or something. This alcoholic beverage, which I'm not mad at him because everybody needs a little, you know, business. And and Dennis has several of them. Um, it says here, I don't know how do you pronounce that, Nack, 
Save Texas, Takes Texas. You know, he's promoting this brand out here. He's got several of the videos and everything out here, several photos out here. But y'all look at this one right here. This is the one I want y'all to see. This is one I want y'all to see right here. Let me see right here. Y'all see this one right here? Y'all see this one? Do y'all see it? Do y'all see this one right here? Do y'all know who that is? Do y'all know who that is? Do y'all know who that is? Yeah, that's her. Fallon. That's Fallon. Yep. That is Fallon, Simon's ex. Oh. Promoting. Listen. Dennis's beverage. Oh. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Dennis, what you out here in these streets doing, Dennis? Oh, my goodness. Well, and he tagged her, of course. You know, she modeling for his beverage, Fallon, on that yak. I can't believe this. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Dennis is up to something, y'all. I thought Dennis was staying quiet in all this, and, and he kind of is. But to me, I'm getting kind of like alleged subliminals. That's what I'm thinking. But y'all know how we do. I'm going to wait to hear what y'all have to say in the comment section. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Is Simon, is Simon, listen, it's Simon, is Dennis, is Dennis being a little shady up here with this post that he had with the baby in it, with, with, with PJ in it? Is he being shady? Y'all let me know. And then we'll talk later. Y'all, what? He don't stack. Mm -mm, he don't got the baby with all the money in front of her. Oh, my goodness, Dennis. Well, y'all let me know what y'all think. And then we're going to talk about it later. But I put his Instagram page in the description of my YouTube channel. Y'all come over, over here to the Juice Radio and Talk Show. And y'all will be able to see it. And y'all let me know what y'all thoughts are. Mm -mm -mm. Dennis got the baby up here. Mm -mm. With all the money. Well, he may be saying just that his daughter has, you know, knows that her dad, his daddy got the businesses going. But I got so much I could say, but I'm trying to be nice because y'all know I'm the nice channel. But this was a little, it just, it just looked like shade to me. It just looked like, yeah, look, I don't see somebody else in the comments said it too. Uh, this person in the comments said, LOL, oh, the shade. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. The shade. The shade. That's what I'm saying too. Got the baby up here doing this stuff. Oh my goodness. All right, y'all. Well, listen, I wanted to also share something else with you guys. Let's talk uh, real quick since I'm on here real quick. I got a little bit more time. Hello to all of y'all that are joining me today. Listen, I said I had some free time, so I wanted to go ahead and share some information. Y'all tell me what do y'all think about this real housewife stuff? Let me go back over here and um share this now. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Now, we did do our review, our reality chat last night with Jonathan on panel. Jonathan is the absolute best. And since I have this free time, I want to go ahead and ask you guys, let's just go ahead and have a conversation because I got some of these things up here. What y'all think about, um, about uh, Apollo coming back? I'm so excited about this. I don't know what to do. Now, he's only going to come back for the reunion from what I understand. Now, I'm hoping, this is what I'm hoping. I'm hoping that Apollo coming to the reunion will kind of segue him into coming back for a series. Now, I'm hoping that Bravo and Andy and all the collaborators over there will be like, okay, we got Apollo to come to the reunion. Now, can we get Apollo to come on and have Apollo's wife to hold one of those peaches? That's what I'm really hoping. Now, I know that there's a lot of talk about who actually is coming, allegedly coming back. I know there's a lot of talk about that. But would y'all like to see Apollo and his wife on Real Housewives of Atlanta? That's where I would like to see them. I would like to see them. Now, a lot of people are saying they want Phaedra to come back to Real Housewives of Atlanta. So I'm thinking, like, if Phaedra come back, would y'all want to also see Apollo come back? Because I'm kind of thinking, I think I would. I think I would like to see that. Now, I saw the series where uh, Apollo and his beautiful wife was on there. Uh, I think it was Couples Retreat. And it was really good. And I really fell in love with Apollo and his wife and their love for each other. I thought they were a beautiful couple together. I think they're a great couple together. And I really want to see more of this couple, even if 
Phaedra does not come back, I really would like to see Apollo and his wife on one of these series over here. You know, I know Andy and the crew and all of them over there are people are saying that they're revamping uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta. And I think maybe they should. They should. And I think they should consider putting Apollo and his wife on one of these seasons. I really think they should do that. But listen, Apollo is going to be there at the reunion. Now, we haven't seen why he's going to be at the reunion, but I'm interested to find out what he has to say, why he's there. I I'm really interested. And listen, my eyes are happy, too, that he's going to be there. My eyes. <laughs> They were happy. So congratulations to Apollo coming back. Let's see what he has to say. Y'all check him out on his Instagram page and also the uh, People Magazine article. Y'all check that out as well. Now, let me share this other thing real quick. I'm going to try and go through these real fast. Now, here, I understand that Marlo is not coming back from what I understand. Marlo is not returning to Real Housewives of Atlanta. OK, do y'all want her back? Y'all let me know in the comment section if y'all want Marlo back. Now, there's a lot of speculation as to why she's not coming back and so forth. But then when I thought about it, there was so much heat between her and Candy uh, before. Um, it, it was a lot. So do you all think that had anything to do with uh, Marlo not returning? Would y'all want to see Marlo back? Um, I like Marlo. She was kind of funny, you know, and a lot of stuff. And, you know, and I love seeing her nephews. I love seeing Marlo with her nephews. That was really, really good. Even seeing Marlo and her sister on there when they were talking about, you know, they were trying to help their nep nephews get through the situation with a nephew's mother was going through some difficulties and Marlo and the sister stepped in to help. I really love seeing more stuff like that. And I really would hope that if Marlo chooses to come back, <coughs> excuse me, to reality TV, that that'll be something that she would come back and show us how she is raising the boys, how she's handling, dealing with her sister, going through the situation that she's going through, why she has to have the boys, how their whole family is dealing with that. I really would love to see that. I know a lot of people like to see Marlo because of her um, her fashion and her fighting and stuff like that. But there's so much more to Marlo than, than all of that. And as for me, I would really love to see Marlo in the auntie mommy role that she's been doing. Let me see what's going on with that. I That to me would be really good TV. So Marlo, if you're not coming back, to Real Housewives of Atlanta, then I would ask somebody, if it's not going to be Andy and the crew, call over there to Carlos, Carlos King, and see if Carlos, yeah, I said Carlos, see if Carlos King can do something and, you know, and fix that up. Or one of these other networks or something. I wish I owned my network. I don't own it yet, but I'm praying it comes into existence because stuff like this, I would really love to see. This part. How you dealing with that with your sister issue? How you dealing with that with your 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 son? You know, I mean, your your sister's sons being there, all of that. So she's not uh, allegedly not going to be back. And you guys, we just gonna pray everything works out for her, which we know it will because Marlo is a bounce back queen. She knows how to get through situations. She knows how to get through life. She knows how to maneuver. She knew, knows how to make it work. And I'm excited for her next chapter. And I'm going to be following to see, you know, how that all goes. All right. Let me see what I got up here next that I was going to share with y'all. Okay. Uh, let me cancel that one because I don't have no time to go through that one. Let me see what else I had up here that I wanted to share with y'all. All right. So <laughs> y'all, some of these people have been so shady to Portia out here. They have been so shady to Portia because she's going through this divorce and they are pulling up all of the past videos and photos and all that kind of stuff of, of where uh, Portia was flaunting all the luxuries that Simon had. Y'all, here's one of them. Mm -mm. Y'all, y'all so shady out here. Y'all are so shady. So here they have, and they have over here, let me see what they said on here, this comment. It says, um, how did we get from here to divorce, divorcing? Mm, mm, mm. How did we? How did we? Well, 
mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm not even gonna play the music because y'all know how, how YouTube do. So here's the thing. Money in marriage is good, but money does not make the marriage. Money in marriage is good, but money does not make the marriage. And when that money is gone, what happens next? You can enjoy the money for a time, but when that money run out, do you run out with the money? Now, I don't know exactly why uh, Portia and Simon are divorcing. They're saying that, you know, it has not been said as to ex the exact reason why they're divorcing, but they are. But let me tell y'all, if y'all want a happy marriage, you can't be out here telling me you're going to marry for money and then think that, you know, everything's going to be copacetic and happy. No, people, we have to start showing and sharing with our loved ones and these young girls that they are, hey, Brian, that they are uh, more than enough. And don't be putting money in front of the real marriage. I cannot stand when people do that. To me, it's just the craziest thing that people would do that. Now, for those of you who have not heard, if you have not heard yet, yes, Portia and Simon are divorcing. They are divorcing. And, um, you know, it, it's a lot. And they're saying that, that Portia is now allegedly finding out a lot of stuff that she probably did not know before. And uh, now she's finding out. I don't know how deep that runs of what she did not allegedly know, but um, it, it's a lot. Hey, Ali Hall, thank you. Thank you. All they'll say, amen. Say it again for the people in the back. Right. You know, thank you so much. And I love your rainbows. I love it. You know, we, we can't just be sitting up here telling you just go marry for money and think everything will be hunky and hunky and dory. And then especially when you don't really know where the money all coming from, because y'all allegedly, according to the Jasmine brand over here that I have on the screen, the Jasmine brand, it said, oops, Simon Gobadilla sued for failing to make private jet timeshare payments. Oh my goodness. Now, when I saw this, and the reason why I wanted to have this on my channel is because when Simon was with Fallon and um, they were on uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta and a uh, portion of them had went to her house. I don't know if y'all remember. And they were talking about the things that 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 Simon and Fallon have and all this stuff. And I think somebody may have mentioned a plane or something. I'm going to say allegedly, but I know a plane or a conversation came in there somewhere. And I don't know who checked or who didn't check, but apparently Simon didn't own the plane. Unless he owned that one and sold it. But this one that they're saying here, they're saying that uh, he had uh, timeshare payments, meaning he was sharing sharing this jet. So the Jasmine brand is saying, it looks like all Simon Gabadia's legal troubles are all spilling out. Simon is now reportedly being sued for approximately $974,213.11. You better get every penny in there. Mm -hmm. From a private jet company for breach of contract and failing to make payments according to court documents. Simon purchased a timeshare with the company in December of 2020, allowing him to use a jet at different times without actually having to own the aircraft. Simon allegedly stopped paying his designated payments and now owes a hefty lump sum. How do you have payments of $974,213.11. And you don't own something. All that money, almost a million dollars, and there is no ownership that that money purchased. That to me is financial ridiculousness. A million dollars almost. And you don't own something. You're you regular spirit. He owned the debt. Ooh, you own the debt. The debt. That's crazy. What are we teaching our young folks about financial wellness? Where's the financial wellness in this? That's crazy to me. Well, hopefully they get the money because they're trying to find him. They're trying to find where he is. Where is he? 
They're trying to find him because some people are saying he's on the run. Some people are saying he went to some other place or whatever. I don't know. But that to me is crazy spending that type of money. Thank you, Ollie. That to me is just ridiculous. You know, we have to start teaching our young people financial wellness. You know, do you own a home? Is Are you debt free? Do you have a mortgage on that home? A million dollars mm -mm. of something you were sharing and you weren't even paying your part? I cannot. A, lu a luxury item like that? I, mm -mm. That's way living beyond your mean. Well above living above your mean. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. And that's the other thing. When people get money like that, why in the world would you use it so recklessly? Portia and Simon and others like them. You're so reckless with the money that when you have a downfall, thank you, Holy Spirit, you have no cushion to hold you from hitting the ground hard because you did not prepare yourself for the landing. Mm -mm. We have got to do better. All right. So let me show you all this other one here that um, uh, we were talking about. So there are some other there are some other um, stories out here. And this one, we're trying to figure out who's going to be the Real Housewives cast. So that's what we're trying to find out. Uh, this one, um, this is from the Bravo um, Shade Room, the Bravo Shade Room put here. And they say, this is the alleged full cast of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And I love Nene's photo somebody posted down there because that's a, that's what I was doing. That's the same face I was giving. I was like, <laughs> I was like really? I was like, really? Exactly, Ollie. Ollie, living high on the pain. You can't even afford it. Come on now. Come down off of that. And also, if you want to live that extravagant and, and spend and have those kind of gifts for yourself, then at least have something prepared that if those gifts are no longer there, that you would have some place that you can go and lay your head and have, you know, whatever vehicles. Have something, like I said, a soft landing. You could buy a little rental and then have somebody living in there that you have paid for and have somebody rent it out to them so that if you have to come back and, and all those money and everything that you had before not there and you have to move quick you have your rental that you can go to as long as you know you tell that person hey, i'm going to need to move back into my place or have your little scoot around car that you don't have a car payment on so that if the car that you have the payment on gets taken you still have the scoot around car manage your money well so that you would have a soft landing thank you mm -hmm. hey jess hey just angel thank you Say good morning to Juice Radio Talk Show scammer putting out a false image. I don't know what he was doing. I don't know what Simon was thinking. And why is it so important for people to think you have more money than you have? Why can't we just be comfortable with the money that we have? And you know what? The thing is, people want to try and have other people around them appear as though that you are so rich and you are now trying to cater to that person's image of you. Why make yourself that uncomfortable? The lies. If you have to lie to the people that's around you, you don't need to have them around you. You don't need them for a friend and they don't need you for a friend. Because if I can't be my comfortable self around you, then I don't need you around me. And if I can't be comfortable around you, I don't need to be around you. We have to stop trying to imitate and be something that we're not just so that we can be in a circle because there's plenty other circles out here. We don't have to do that. No, your image is good enough. And if you did it the right way and the honest way, maybe once you obtain those riches that you have been praying for and you got them, you'd be able to hold on to them if you did it right. Not because you was trying to please the man or the men or the women that were around you, but simply because you had a goal and a dream that you wanted for yourself and you did it the right way, then you would be able to get it, hold on to it, maintain it, and not have to worry about trying to flaunt it and be fraud to other people. And maybe you get to keep it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Yes, Ollie. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Ollie. <laughs> My God. Wow. Yes. Exactly, Ollie. So here. Hey, cousin. Hey, Condalia. Thank you. She said, that's right, cousin. Be comfortable with, with, uh, with what you have and be yourself. Mm -mm. They're so people-pleasing. And thank you, cousin. And that's the thing, too, Condalia. People can get so uncomfortable in their own comfort. They want to be comfortable in somebody else's comfort, but it's still not comfortable. 
You are trying to please somebody else and putting yourself in such a terrible place. And not only are you putting yourself in a terrible place, but you're putting your family, your friends, your brother. Simon's got children, y'all. He's got children that could have benefited from all that money that he owed. He got children out here. He got mothers raising his children that could have probably benefited from this money. Is it worth it? No, but because you want to try and be around a circle or a group that ain't paying your child support for you, I don't think, that ain't giving your children all this money, allegedly, I'm going to say, but come on now. It's not worth it. It's not. Thank you, Angela. She said, this stuff um, would never make sense to people like us here. The people who need to hear aren't here. See? And that's why it's important for us. We need to get these videos out. Share, share, share. Like, like, like. <laughs> subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. You know, I can do my part. But Simon, I, I and, and you got to think of this. But it's not only Simon. It's other people. It is people who, again, here's the part. If you're single and you're doing this kind of stuff, that's on you. That's on you. But when you have children, especially small children, you have mothers out here. And especially if there's a single mother out here that's trying to raise these children and you out here doing this kind of stuff, buying belts, that's way more money than that child school lunch. That's crazy to me. We got to do better. We got to be better with our money. Money wellness. Thank you, cousin. We have to do better with our money. Thank you. Thank you, Ollie. Let me get on back over here to these housewives. So these women here, these women over here. So this is the new cast, allegedly. This said, this is a cast from the housewives. These women, okay. Portia is trying to come back, okay. Kenya is trying to come back. Shamia is trying to come back. Drew, did Drew ever divorce her husband? Did he ever? I'm gonna have to look that up. I know they were going through some stuff. I don't know. Angela Reed. I'm not sure of who she is. Aki, Akila Coleman, I'm not sure who she is. Britt Edie, I'm not sure who he, she is. And Sheree as a friend. Okay, so these are the ladies that's coming back, allegedly. It sounds to me by the first one, Portia, Kenya, Shamia, and Drew, that it's just going to be a whole mess. That's what it allegedly sounds like to me. That's I'm going to just say that part. It just sounds like it's going to be a mess. Uh, because we already know that Kenya and Portia had that big battle. I don't know if they got out of it or resolved it. I don't know, but we'll see. Thank you, Ollie. What uh, what you won't do for the money. Right. What they won't do for the money. Well, there's another um, person that is saying that's supposed to be coming back to the, um, or coming to, <coughs> it says um, this person is supposed to be coming also to um i think it's um real housewives of atlanta i'm not sure who uh is this wait mainly is it mm -mm. who is mainly has allegedly signed on for real housewives of atlanta um season 16 so they're saying that she's uh supposed to be coming back or coming to not coming back but coming to okay ming uh here she is here this is her y'all let me know if y'all know her i'm not familiar with who she is, but it came up on my timeline. So there she is. She's supposed to be joining. Uh, we'll see what she has to, to add to it. And then uh, we have this also. Y'all, I was not sure about this one because I was like, are y'all sure? Are y'all sure? Because I think somebody playing games with us out here, y'all. Look, they're telling us that allegedly Miss Juicy it's supposed to be joining Real Housewives of Atlanta. Do y'all think this true? Do y'all think this true? I'm not sure about this. Okay, this came from Real Bravo Holic. <laughs> and it says, breaking. Sources reveal the Queen of Atlanta, Miss Juicy, has allegedly signed a friend of contract for the next season of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Now, y'all know she had been missing for a while, and Miss Juicy had been dealing with some illnesses. Uh, she was in a hospital for a while there, too. Thank God she pulled through. We were all praying, and I'm glad that she did pull through. Um, I'm not exactly what the cause they said, and I don't want to uh, do the alleged as far as the medical, but I do know that she was uh, in the hospital, and um, she was there for a little bit, and she did get out. But now they're saying that... Um, this is what uh this uh site Bravoholic is reporting that allegedly she's gonna come back as a friend to the show. 
Now, if she come back as a friend to the show, I'm trying to decide which friend she's going to be a friend to. Which one? Is it Portia? Is it Portia? Because they were both on Dish Nation. Wasn't that Dish Nation? Was it Dish Nation they were both on? Or was um, Portia on Dish Nation and she was on the Ricky Smiley morning show? Right. Uh, Miss Juicy was on a Ricky Smiley morning show. So if Miss Juicy is going to come back as a friend to the show, who's the friend that she's coming back with? Questions. We got so many questions. Y'all let me know in the comment section on, on this, even in the replay. Do y'all think that Miss Juicy should be a friend to the show? Now, remember, she was also on the show Little Women of Atlanta. And um, that was on for a couple of seasons. And then that uh, went off. She was also on the Ricky Smiley uh, morning show. Um, there were some situations and things that happened where she was no longer on that um, show with Ricky Smiley. Um, she's been doing a lot of promoting and stuff like that. So we're trying to determine, you know, what she's doing next. But I Miss Juicy. I'm not sure what she's going to come with, but she does always come with the quickness and the fire. So we shall see. Mm hmm. We shall see. All right. So let me see uh, what we got next here. All right. So we've got, let's see. We've got over here. Let me do this. Okay. So y'all know we did a show last night with Jonathan where we talked about Married to Medicine. And these two right here, Sweet Tea and Dr. Hemley. Mm -hmm. Y'all let me know what y'all think about these two. And let me tell y'all my opinion real quick. Let me take care of this for, for hubby real quick. All right. So Sweet Tea and Dr. Hemberly have been going through some stuff. And let me tell y'all, I don't know which one's the adult in the whole situation. I don't know which one is the adult. All right, babe, I took care of that. So here's... Here's a, a post <laughs> from Reality Chat they have on here. Oh my goodness. Sweet T said, nice try, but he wasn't um, but he wasn't all of that when you was up her blankly blank um to join the show. You just started the narrative after you blankly blank check your strains for a super chain, super chat chain. That's why you blog due to your toxic and bully behavior, blah, blah, blah. Now here's the thing. There's a, a ongoing spat that's been going on with Sweet Tea and Dr. Heavily. And I'm going to just give you all a quick narrative of it. Sweet Tea joined the cast of Married to Medicine and she and Dr. Hemley uh, got into some back and forth bickering because Dr. Hemley, of course, is friends with Quad. Um, Dr. Hemley, um says that um, Dr. Um, G was uh, is too old for a sweet tea, and then they went with all the back and forth. Dr. Heavily is wrong on her side as well for some of the language that she used and also some of the conversations that she had. Sweet tea also is rude because, as you can see in this post, the disrespect as far as her commenting back and how she claps back. Does it mean that sweet tea is wrong for the um, for feeling the way she feels? No, but it's just the way that you deliver your feelings to a person can then make you appear to be wrong because of the way you're delivering it. And that's my thing with sweet tea. Yes, Dr. Heavenly is wrong. Sweet Tea is wrong for her delivery of stuff. And it's hard to try and relate to Sweet Tea because of her delivery. Now, again, I think Sweet Tea is right to be upset about the way Dr. Heavenly has been treating her. She's absolutely right. Dr. Heavenly has been disrespectful to Sweet Tea. She has. But even Sweet Tea's husband, Dr. G, told her, you know, just be careful, basically, in so many words, be careful how you deliver stuff to somebody. And that's the problem with it. Dr. Heavenly is going to be Dr. Heavenly. We tried to change her. We tried to alter. We tried. We don't pray for her. We all that kind of stuff. Dr. Heavenly is going to be Dr. Heavenly. Sweet Tea, work on you. Now, it's not making Sweet Tea look good because of all this bantering that she's going back and forth with out here. And a lot of people have tried to communicate with Sweet Tea. I went in her to her, her social media page, looked at some of the comments. A lot of the people tried to get her to calm down and, and, and step away and back off and not do all of the stuff like she does like this. But she continues to do that. And here's my fear for Sweet Tea, that if she continues to get into the nastiness of the reply, that may affect her marriage. And this is the only reason why I'm bringing up this particular post. Because Sweet Tea is a newly married woman. Dr. Heavily and her husband have been married for years, decades. They ain't going nowhere. Her husband 
is 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 it fine with them like this? Sweet tea is the reason that I'm bringing this post up because I'm concerned. Y'all know I love a good marriage. I love a happy marriage. Sweet tea, I think, is putting too much energy into what other people are saying and not enough energy into just I'm good with my husband. Y'all can say what y'all want to say, that kind of thing. And I think that could be detrimental to her marriage. And if Sweet Tea sees this video, I would hope that she would understand my conversation to her is you don't have to answer every fool in the yard. You don't. Why? Because when you do, it takes away from the productivity of what you can be doing with that precious time you just spent on that one fool. That's just my thought. You don't need to do that. I don't need to be sitting here wasting time with somebody who's trying to waste my time. There's too much that Sweet Tea can't be doing with her life. This is a great moment, great opportunity for her to show us what you're working on, Sweet Tea. What you got work? What you got working? You got this great big platform of Bravo. They've given you, they've gifted you. You've got this wonderful husband that you got. What you working on, girl? That's what I want to know. Get with Toya if you're not working on something right now and say, listen, I want to make the best of this time that I have. I want to make the best of what can we do? Toya got the wine line going. <clears throat> she got other stuff that's going. Get with some of these ladies that, that are your friend that would tell you, listen, you could benefit from this role, girl. You could benefit from this time that you hear. Your benefit don't have to be your TikTok streams and views going up because you going back and forth bantering with Dr. Heavenly. Dr. Heavenly got a whole business. Several businesses over there where she's streaming income from. What you doing, sweet tea? You just relying on social media to get your clicks and likes and views and to get your money that way? No, sweet tea, you better than that. You could do much more and be much more productive with your time than all this crazy bantering back and forth. And look at this. Listen to this. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Listen, listen to this part, sweet tea. Here's the other thing. If and when, if and when you decide to get with a company or corporation to push out a product that you may have, don't you think that they're going to go back and look at some of your social media and be like, I'm not sure if I even want to do business with her. Look at this temperament. Look at this social media. Look at this post. Yes, they're doing that now. Companies and corporations, when they want to be affiliated with you, they're going to look for everything that you've done and they're going to make their decisions, some of them, based on your social media content. I even do it with some of my tenants. They can have the best background and all that stuff. I look at your social media content. I'm like, okay, so you doing this online in that house? Okay, I sit back on that house. Mm -hmm. And you doing this? And I don't know. I don't think you. I don't think you approve. I thought decline. Mm -mm, no decline. Yeah, you make the money. Yeah, you, you know. No, but mm -mm. yes. Part of research for me with my 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 for my investors and for these tenants, I will check your social media stuff. And don't think I'm coming on there from the Juice Radio and Talk Show. Look at no. I got secret accounts. Then I go and I look at stuff. You, and if I'm doing that, a small corporation, don't you think big corporations are doing that too? So come on, sweet tea, clean it up and get better. Don't let somebody like Dr. Heavily, who has several businesses and corporations and, and, and so much productivity, stop you from being productive too. Don't let her do that. Don't let her take that time and energy away from you. Don't pay her no mind. Every time Dr. Heavily or somebody tries to come at you with a negative aspect, look at it and say, you know what? This is my opportunity to do something positive. This is my opportunity to do something positive. You don't always have to be fighting in these streets, especially these social media streets. Ridiculous. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you this too, sweet tea. If you want to really get pregnant, I'm, I'm putting the big screen so that you can see me clear. If you want to really get pregnant, you're going to have to get rid of this stress. Because this stress will prohibit you from getting pregnant. As Let me tell you, I'm not a medical doctor, so don't take me on a medical aspect. But I do know that I believe any doctor would tell you that stress is not good for any pregnancy. So if you're going to try and get pregnant, sweet tea, you want to get pregnant or during your pregnancy, you're going to have to drop all this stress and all this bantering and fighting and stuff like that. Let that stuff go. That's just ridiculous and it's not worth it. It is not worth it at all. Mm -mm, don't do that. All right. So this next one I'm going to bring up real quick is going to be my last one right now. Thank you all for joining me today. But listen, I'm going to share this one right here because this thing made me holler with laughter. 
This thing made me hollow with laughter. So as you guys know, as we talked about a little bit today, Portia is going through divorce with Simon, allegedly. <laughs> I haven't pulled up the court documents yet. But this thing right here says this. It says, Portia walking out of Fulton County Courthouse after filing for divorce. This is a meme, right? A meme. <laughs> they had me so pickled. Y'all, look at this. This thing had me cracking up. All right, so this is my funny for the day before I get out of here. This was so hilarious to me. Y'all, look at this right here. This was so cute and funny. Look. <laughs> oh! Oh! Shout out to everybody. I had fun. Shout out to everybody. I had fun. I got a <laughs> <laughs> That's the way Portia is telling Simon. <laughs> I have fun. I'm out of here now. Y'all, I tell y'all, listen, that is so hilarious. Well, I don't know again what Mr. Dennis is doing, what Dennis is doing, but I, I, I think it may have been a little shade, but he did post this picture of his beautiful daughter, PJ, with all his stacks of money, with all his stacks of money. And his caption on here, she knows her daddy get to it. And I'm just like this person that put a comment there. LOL, oh, the shade. Is Dennis being shady? Is Dennis being shady by putting the baby on here with all the money? Mm -mm -mm. Well, y'all let me know in the comment section. Y'all let me know in the comment section. All right. All right, you guys. Thank you for spending this moment with me. Thank you so very much. I enjoyed this so much. You guys leave your comments in the comment section. Like, cl click, like, click, subscribe, click, share. Listen, uh, we got a whole bunch of other stuff coming up. Um, tonight I'm going to be uh co-paneling with um with uh Naughty Love and with Kim Delivers. So uh, we're going to be co-paneling. We're going to be talking about some uh, stories and stuff that's coming up tonight at 7 p.m. Click that notification bell to be reminded when we go live. We're going to have a conversation about uh, the lady that's out here saying that who the whatever she was married to. She didn't know who she was married to and so forth. So we're going to join Kim and Naughty Love Delivers. Uh, Naughty, Naughty Love and Kim delivers on their panel tonight. So y'all remember, come back over here, 7 p.m. tonight, Eastern Standard Time. And also we have some other programs coming up. They're already on our YouTube channel. Click like, click subscribe, click share, and make sure you click that notification bell to be reminded when we go live, because I will do a pop-up. I will do a pop-up over here, all right? Now, remember you guys, I do these, these uh, videos and shows on here, uh, not for all the giggles and laughs. We do have some giggles and laughs, but the seriousness of a lot of these matters is really why I do a lot of these programs and a lot of these shows, because I want people to see the real side of the real. And uh, though we may laugh and, and talk about some of these situations, like we're doing with Portia, like we're doing with Simon, you also have to understand that they are not the only ones that may go through this. And you never know when your turn may come. So while you're out there laughing at other, I want you to know this, maybe you should be praying about that person, praying for that person, that that situation gets worked out. And remember, if you're going to marry, don't marry for love, because when the money's gone, so is the love. All right. So remember that. All right. Y'all have a wonderful, blessed evening. Thank y'all for being here today. Thank you, Ollie, for being here. Thank you, Condalia cousin. Thank you, Just Angel. Thank you so very much for being here as well. Thank you, Just Angel. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful afternoon. And I will see y'all on the next one. And y'all know, know what we do over here at the Juice Radio Talk Show. We remind you of this one thing. If you're going to love on anybody, make sure you start by loving yourself. All right. Y'all have a blessed day. I'll see y'all on the next one. Click that subscribe button. Bye, y'all.